unless it involves killing someone else like most of his ideas throughout the first few episodes of the season i agree i'm with Luz. <laughs> <laughs> star wars fans there are some star wars fans out there who really took that to heart <laughs> <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, I know it's been a few days, but as you can see, I've got my decorations up there. You know, the, the Freddy claw that's actually real, like real, real metal. Michael picture, 13 ghost picture, Jason figure, ghost face figure. I got a lot of ghost face stuff, because um, I'm, I think I've said this at one point, but Scream's like my favorite movie franchise. And then plus these up here that go all the way around my room. That was a motherfucker to get on. But I did get most of my stuff unpacked, and so now all I have to do is basically um, just try and get out as much videos as possible, you know, in case something does pop up again. Um, so basically I'm just gonna try and get these done as fast as I can. And then with the whole gaming streams, that's still gonna happen. So just keep an update on my uh, channel. You know, I do have a Discord server. Um, it's linked onto my channel. If you guys wanna know the updates of my streams, you know, when I'm gonna stream, you know, what I'm gonna stream. And then obviously with my Discord server for the people who are in it, know that there are teasers for my next reaction videos as well as other videos that I will soon be posting on this channel. But other than that, today I have The Owl House Season 1 Episode 11 Sense and Insensitivity Reaction. If you enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like and subscribe if you like what you see, or if you just find yourself coming back on the regular, it would really help out a lot. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys later. Owl House Season 1 Episode 11, Sense and Insensitivity. Take them! I demand it as your ruler! The King of Demons! Already, my heart. Already. Hey. <sighs> it reeks more of nerd than money today. Guys! Whoa. It's a book fair! Where books come to life! Hello. Ah! Who needs rides when this can take you anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> you are sinister. See, I feel like pickpocketing some dork while they browse. No, wait. Add that to your fucking list of felonies. What's that? <gasps> a writing competition? I thought you wanted to be a witch. Of course I want to be a witch, but where I'm from, that's kind of... Impossible. I've had this about the author picture since I was seven years old. <laughs> um, we're in line for John De Plume, most famous writer on the Boiling Isles. Such power, such command he holds over his minions. I must have the same. Loose the human, I too shall enter the competition. <gasps> Another wrinkle. The curse is quickening. You, Lackey. Lilith. Do you have the item we oh discussed? God. Oh, yes, right here. A map to the bloom of eternal youth. I think the Emperor will be very pleased. Yeah! I'll hail the Emperor! Very good, Steve. Shoulder pads for Steve. S Steve. <laughs> like the name says, it gives eternal youth to whomever holds it. Interesting. Can't go without a map, of course. Let's write down some ideas that we want to see in the story. I can write anything? Yeah, we're brainstorming. Every idea is a good idea. Unless it involves killing someone else. Like, most of his ideas throughout the first few episodes of the season. And the main character is, of course, oh, uh, Lazora. I know it's kind of cliche, but what's wrong with cliche? That's, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Amity made a joke. She said, well, well done, Lazora. Great work, Lazura. As like a snarky comment, but then she actually coined it. And my main character is the king, er, the ruler of demons. Of course With it is. With this totally original all-star cast, victory will be ours. It just feels a little unrealistic. I see what you're saying, but in your version, ruler just destroys everything. 
Hey, there's more to life than shipping. Don't you dare insult shipping in my presence. I agree. I'm with Luz. <laughs> Gonna be honest, with the whole thing about shipping, like, I have heard, once again, when I first did my research for the show, I heard that A, it was going to be like wizard stuff, and then B, there was elements of LGBTQ uh, elements because there's like a, a couple that is like a gay couple or something like that. So the ship, I barely survived. When, when I played The Walking Dead Season 4, I barely made it past Violet and Clementine. Like, that's what I did. I took the Violet and Clementine ship route and, like, the romance route. I, I was, almost had a heart attack over a dozen times. I could not stand it because they were just so fucking adorable. If something like that happens in the show, I won't fucking last. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare insult to romance. I am popping out for a few days to an undisclosed place to do undisclosed things. You're in charge. Well, King, it's just you and me for a while. <gasps> King! What have you done? I just made a few tiny edits and this baby is humming. King, I know you're trying to help, but I think you're crossing a line. Yeah, into greatness. Don't you want us to win? If this is how you want to win, then maybe you should submit the story on your own. What does she know? What the heck, man? Learn to collaborate. Hush, you! The typewriters are alive. Why? <laughs> hey, you scum! Which one of you wants to read my literary masterpiece? Anyone brave enough? I'll read your story. Hello? You wrote this? I'm Pignette, a Pignette publishing house. And your name is King? It's more of a rank than a name. I loved your story. So much better than the submissions we got for the competition. I'll make you as famous as John DePlume. <laughs> I've always wanted a people chair. I'm in. King, then come on. All you have to do is sign here. You really can't be mad at him. <laughs> You can't. You can't be mad at King. You, you just can't. <laughs> He's just too fucking cute. You can't. You can't be mad at him. <laughs> Even when he does the stupidest, most despicable shit, you can't be mad because <laughs> you're just fucking gushing over him. <laughs> Ow. Jeez. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, from the Minotaur, I had due north, and with luck- That looks like one of the puppets from episode two. Ah, uh, who's frail now, Emperor Dorks? <gasps> Someone's following me. <laughs> That's a cool-ass sword, though. Spicy toss! Oh! Lily? Edelin? I'm here to save the bloom of eternal youth from the likes of you. <laughs> and I'm gonna get there before you! Ah! No, you won't! <laughs> Even when they're against each other, they're still sisters. God, I, everything about the show is so good. My publisher is throwing a huge party for my book, Ruler's Reach. And I, uh, I'd like for you to be there. All right, fine. Be that way, I guess. Your fans are dying to know when Ruler's Reach 2 comes out. That's between me and my publisher. Right, Pignette? <laughs> yes. Oh, pardon me. I need a few moments of King's time. Uh, speaking of, how's your second book coming along? Coming along? Or finished? Bam! Ha <laughs> ha! Ruler's Reach 2! It's not gonna be as good. Oh, you can't! Not only are you a great writer, but a practical joker as well. That's true. Wait, what? Oh, this is truly awful. Yeah. Looking forward to the real draft. But I'm a best-selling writer. How? Great to hear, because I really need your help with my next book. Huh? Apparently, I can't write my daring works of genius without rebelling against your gushy fantasy slop. Excuse me? We make a great team. So, here's a pen. Righty-righty, clock to ticking. 
I'm not writing for you after you made fun of all my ideas. Hey, what the heck? <gasps> oh, what the hell? Is that a, a crab spider? Hey! <laughs> wait, 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 go back to the king, the, the, or a crab. Lily! Wait, look at this. <laughs> the little face. <laughs> it looks like the, this looks like, it, this looks like a Pringles man, uh, the Pringles guy. Like. <laughs> it's like if you jump scared the Pringles guy. Thank you, Edelin. I wasn't certain that you'd save me. Stow it! Ah, we might fight, but you're still my sister. Besides, if anyone's putting you down, it's gonna be me. <laughs> the bloom of eternal youth! And with the bloom of eternal youth's power, I'll show you! What the? <laughs> they got his good angle. Uh, can I help you? Perhaps. I hear you're an aspiring writer. <laughs> I can't wait for the sequel. If it's disappointing in any way, I will spend every day of my life trashing it. <laughs> Star Wars fans. There are some Star Wars fans out there who really took that to heart. <laughs> Pinyet, I gotta come clean. We can't announce book two. I can't write without... without... Without your writing, partner. King! Loose! That snappily dressed lizard trapped me in this shrinking box. You wrote Ruler's Reach together, so if you don't want her crushed, you'll write together again. That's a toxic mentality that contributes to burnout and unrealistic expectations. King, do something! Holy shit! You'll recall you are under contract. <laughs> Oh. Oof. Make your deadline, or you'll never be able to hold a pen again. Just like. Help me! No! What the? F I'll leave you to it. But it's all hugging and crying. I can't put my name on that. King, that is why we are in here. Because you can't compromise! All I wanted was to write a dumb story with my friend. Luce, you're living your dream. You're becoming a witch. But this celebrity is as close as I'll ever get to my dream. It all went to my head, and I hurt you. I'm sorry. Hey, being with you is one of my favorite parts of this dream. What if I told you the Bloom never existed at all? He scammed us. Can you believe he scammed us? I thought there was a 50-50 chance going in. Hard not to admire the tenacity, though. Oh, look at his little shoes. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Maybe you've never been led into a lethal trap before, but the response should be, Ah, oh, no! Spare us! Ah, sure. Spare us. Woe to us whose fates are sealed. Ah, shit. You can't scare Ida. You really can't. And I guess Lilith too. This is much more gushy than your last book. Skip to the finale, because it is quite a payoff. What is this all about? The light spell! Ah! Ah, I just realized I should have said enlightening. Skip to the finale, you'll find it enlightening. King! <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was really clever. You're making this harder than it needs to be. And believe me, I am being very patient. But let's. They just killed someone. Fight to the finish. Huh? But Ugh. if I read this, will you go so I can annihilate them in peace? Of course. <laughs> It's gonna be really amazing, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. You, you must let me publish this. What about King? Uh, uh, your old news. She, <laughs> on the other hand, is the future. Freedom! Hey! King, we're good then? Yes. 
quite. Well, if it makes any difference, I don't consider you to be a tired old biddy. Really? <laughs> if you were, you'd be much easier to catch. Oh, great. You're gonna cart me away to the coven now, are you? Not now. Because I want to give you a chance to join on your own. Join me in the Emperor's coven, Edelin. He could even heal your curse. No, I'll heal it on my own terms. I don't want to owe him anything. Catch you later, sis. Not if I catch you first. <laughs> God, this show. That was a rough couple days. Yeah, I'll say. Well, nothing a bit of apple blood <laughs> and a good book can't mend. Books? Nope, I don't know nothing about that. We hate books. Wow, look at the time. What's a book? Good night. Huh? What the? Girl, you do not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, good episode, good episode. Um, with that episode, once again, King and Luz getting closer and closer. They're basically family now. I'm assuming that's how they're going to view each other as. Because it does, it feels like they're siblings almost. And obviously, like I said, you can't get mad at King. It's like impossible to be mad at him. Combining them two makes everything better. It's just both of their personalities. One is great. The other is great. And if you just combine them, they're even better. And so everything that loses King, Luz and King are in, Jesus Christ, everything that those two are in just makes everything so much better. And obviously, yes, Ida. Ida is always going to be the fucking MVP of this show. Other than that, there's not really much to talk about because, like I said, there's not really a rising conflict. And like I said, I don't mind it because we're still learning with Luz. She's basically our eyes into this world. She's learning just as much as we are. Whenever she learns something, we learn something. She is basically just the audience growing and learning just like a normal character in the story so with that being said i don't mind there not being a actual story yet because it's just good to build up your character to make us feel attached and then have a rising conflict that makes you feel anxious however we are getting to like we're already halfway through the first season so i feel like at this point there's going to be something big happening soon. I don't know what, probably the rising conflict. 